G'day everybody, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. This little short vid, I'd just like to share with you some of my favorite Chushong Tin related Wing Chun channels. The channels that I watch if I want to learn things, if I want to get some new ideas. People that know what they're talking about, people that are um, from our lineage who've been doing it for a long time. And um, I believe you'll, you'll really benefit from subscribing to these guys checking out their channels and um, the only thing I'll say is that you'll find there will be sometimes slightly different approaches to Wing Chun which is really very normal. Uh, humans are unique and creative characters and each person in Wing Chun who sticks with it is given certain things by their Sifu who who's, will have their own particular take and way into particularly the mind. Um, you'll find across the board, we all do the same forms. Um, might be slight variations in how high we move our hands in certain moves or little flourishes with the Hoon Sows. But generally across the Chu Shong Tin lineage, we're very similar. And the ideas that all of these people um, are putting out, I agree with. And um, so, yeah, you can trust these guys to listen to. So I'm going to put a list down below. The first one, sorry, <laughs> just adjusting my glasses. Um, the first one is Nima King at Mindful Wing Chun. And a lot of you would probably know Nima. Um, he's got a terrific online course, which I haven't taken, but I've heard great things about it. Um, Nima trained with Sigong Chushong Tin for many years over there in Hong Kong, and he was with the seniors in um, in Hong Kong, the Chinese seniors who'd been with um, Master Chushong Tin for many, many years. And um, he's a great practitioner, and he's got very clear ideas and his videos are very well articulated and um, he has a magnificent collection of videos of Sigong and um, I for one am very grateful to him to have saved so much of Sigong's teaching because I never had the great pleasure to meet Sigong and I always wanted to go and see him but um, just couldn't get there to Hong Kong for all different reasons. However, um, there's heaps of us who are carrying on his legacy have been taught by him or by people who are close to him. And um, so, yeah, check out Nima. Check out Chi Sao Club with Mark Spence. Long-term um, practitioner, very, very good. His Mark's videos are excellent and his standards are high. Um, I knew Mark as just one of the senior instructors who was a friendly guy, I always said g'day to him back in the 90s in Seafood Gym School in Sydney. Um, we didn't know each other very well, but we were always, how you going, mate? And he wasn't up himself. I liked his style. And when I listen to his videos, I'm always nodding my head saying, yep, spot on, yep, that's great. And he, he's written some great articles too, if you look into his Facebook. Um, start up Chi Sao Club early 2000s, I think it was, mid-2000s anyway. I know Nima came from there. Him and a number of the guys moved over to Hong Kong. So that's um, Chi Sao Club YouTube channel. Um, Ideas Wing Chun with Eddie Chan. He's a brilliant guy, one of the seniors, Chinese seniors in Hong Kong. I can't find a YouTube presence for him, but his Facebook page He's got a lot of far out stuff, um, a lot of illustrations that I like, um, his own ideas about how to think about finding your way in Wing Chun. And um, Eddie's a great guy, and he's actually the guy who translated Sigong's two books of Wing Chun into English. Um, so Eddie's a, Eddie's a man to listen to. Um, Sung Wing Chun in Sheffield in the UK, which is... Um, their Sifu's Mark Ho. Mark's somebody I really admire and his ideas just resonate with me hugely. Um, he's the guy who told me about 
ye and ye sick. And his videos are in-depth and long. He's got a couple of seminars on there. Um, well worth listening to. One of them, the, the sounds and all that great, but it's really worth just putting up with the sound. Most of the other ones, the sound's good. Got a, a lot of um, real keen British lads there who are right into their Wing Chun. Good instructors. Um, but the way Mark explains things is genius. And he he always attributes to Sigong. And because Mark uh, is Chinese but grew up in Britain, so he... He speaks Chinese perfectly and English perfectly, so his explanations are really worth listening to because sometimes things get lost in translation. People do their best to translate, but on both sides we can get confused with each other. So Sung Wing Chun, S-U-N-G, on YouTube's fantastic. International Wing Chun, we used to call it I-W-C-A, that was Sifu's Academy, the Wing Chun Academy in Sydney. Uh, it's run by his um, his son now, um, who's a great guy, and um, and his mum and you know, Sifu's wife. They um, <clears throat> they have a, a great website with on YouTube, not a website, YouTube channel. They have a good website too, um, but there's some some real um, gems on there. I particularly liked, uh, there's a Wing Chun Open Day 2007 with a number of videos with my old mate Tony Saylor doing things and, um, you know, some great stuff there. But it, there's just generally really good Wing Chun on there. So check that out. Um, quite a legend, Kevin Earle from New Zealand has been doing Wing Chun since 1972, had the first proper... Yip Ban Lineage Wing Chun School there in New Zealand. And um, his channel is called Laser Fist. It's L-A-Z-E-F-I-S-T-Z, -E or Z, as you say in the States. And, um, yeah, he's brilliant. He's, he's got some great stuff. He's he really very open-minded guy with, you know, so many years of experience and... Um, I get a lot from his stuff. So check out Laser Fist, Kevin Earle in New Zealand, NZ. Um, another favourite Kiwi of mine is Bo Bizard. He's um, another old timer who's been at Wing Chun since um, Pontius was a pilot. Um, his Facebook page is called Mana Wing Chun. That's M-A-N-A. -A. I will put links below. Mana Wing Chun on Facebook. Um, Bo's got some fantastic videos. Bo's a great guy. I just every time I meet him, I learn something profound, and he really has a good handle. And he has a unique take on Wing Chun, which I think is very valid and um, worth listening to. To Bo, uh, Adelaide Wing Chun, um, two good friends of mine. Ad sorry, Adelaide Wing Chun Kuhn spelled K-U-E-N. That's um, Tony Blenkow and Lindy Scott, two good friends of mine from Adelaide who have a brilliant channel um, with just hours and hours of seminars from the 80s of Chu Shong Tin and Sifu Jim teaching. And that's just been put up, so I haven't had a chance to really look through it, but I know it's going to be full of gems. Um... God, I wish I could speak Chinese. Uh, often they have long conversations and the translator says a few words and it's like, oh, I wish I knew what you're saying. <laughs> but you sort of work it out. Um, it'll mostly be in English as far as I can make out. But you'll pick up what's going on. That's Adelaide Wing Chun Kuhn. And then there's Adelaide Wing Chun Academy with two old friends of mine, Tony Saylor, who started in 1981. A very, a very excellent practitioner of Wing Chun and another excellent practitioner, Damien Rainer. Rainier? Rainer, I think it is. Um, who I've known since I started in 97. I think Damien probably started before me. Sometime in the 90s, I think. Damien's a terrific guy, great practitioner. Um, Tony Saylor's well-known. Uh, I wish he'd make more videos. That's a hint, mate. Um, 
but they, they've put some really good stuff on there on Adelaide Wing Chun Academy. So check that out. And there's also some great videos, as I mentioned, on um, International Wing Chun Academy's YouTube where um, Tony Saylor does three videos about the relaxed power of Wing Chun, which a lot of people know that it's they're very, very good. They're sort of some of the best things you can find about what we're up to. Um, some terrific guys who I think I've met at one of the seminars or maybe maybe Sigong's 83rd birthday we had in Sydney a few years ago. Uh, the guys from Nimdao Wing Chun. Um, they put together some really cool, well-edited, uh, insightful, entertaining videos about um, Wing Chun, about the internal ideas, um, a lot of good stuff of um, Sigung, which I think a lot of it they've actually filmed themselves when they've been over there in Hong Kong and, and practiced with him. So that's Nim Dao Wing Chun. Excellent stuff. That's my list. Um, if I've missed you out, I profoundly apologise. Um, just let me know in the comments and um, I'll give you a shout out. Um, but these, all those people I've mentioned, uh, I give them my blessing and you can, you can go and listen to them and you won't go off the track. Um, I only say that because, as you know, there's a lot of different types of Wing Chun out there and I want those guys, you know who you are, who listen to me, to uh, stay on our Chushong Tin track. I'm not saying it's the best. Or the, I, I sort of think it's one of the very best, but um, I, I do believe it's better to stick with one thing and and really get that if you want to go off and... Try all sorts of other things. You should at least master one style, one system of thought, so that you've you've really got a super f solid foundation in the art before you go off learning, you know, Filipino fighting sticks or Krav Maga or Savate or whatever the hell you want to do. I think that all that's cool. In the end, where um, most of us are just doing this for a pastime, for something great to do. We're not going around fighting for our life or protecting foreign dignitaries, but um, obviously you want to be good. You want to be able to protect yourself and protect those who you love. And maybe people you don't love, but they're just being beat up by bad guys, so you want to jump in and help. Anyway, enjoy those videos. Um, thanks Again, for your wonderful comments, everybody. I keep getting new subscribers making great comments and um, my old friends uh, keep making fantastic comments. And what really blows me out is how many people from outside Wing Chun are enjoying my channel and giving me great feedback and telling me how my ideas have helped them in their arts and, um, and teaching me things, you know, telling me about their own experiences that are very similar. So... I find that very interesting. Okay, see you later.